Hey everybody, welcome to Weapon XSJ review for Wolverine Origins. Uh, let's get right into the story here. Wolverine, it follows the movie basically. He's in uh, Team X with uh, John Wraith there, Sabretooth, and uh, Deadpool. There's Deadpool right there. Um, he eventually gets mad at Sabretooth and wants to kill him, so he gets his adamantium put on his skeleton, and he just goes after Sabretooth, and he's gonna go at it. Because at heart, I'm exactly what you are, an animal. Now the cool thing about the video game is, is they add a bunch more stuff, like this Sentinel right here. Definitely not in the movie. Should have been. Would have been awesome. But uh, this Sentinel, basically, there's a whole chapter in the game where he goes after uh, Bolivar Trask, who's like one of the things, he's looking for John Wraith, and he goes after the Sentinel. And you see Bolivar Trask, who's like one of the inventors of the Sentinels. If you know anything about comics, the Sentinels are like anti-mutant policing people, basically. And it's pretty awesome. And um, now it's time to get down to the gameplay. Uh, the uh, gameplay eventually is uh, broken up into a couple parts. Um, there's platforming, the fighting, obviously, we'll get into that, which is the best part. And then we got uh, puzzle solving also. So it's kind of like God of War, it mixes it all up. This game is really similar to God of War, basically. And it's awesome, by the way. <laughs> like, that's not a bad thing at all. So the platforming, you just walk around here, you can jump on this try to navigate ledges by hanging there, you climb ropes, lower cross style, basically. There's not much platforming, but it, it you know, it changes the gameplay a little bit. Uh, it gets you away from all the fighting. But it's pretty cool to watch him climb around. He's got claws just digging into the wall there. Pretty awesome. Also puzzle solving here, like here's a little example. You got the statue with the fire on top of it, and you have to get through this gate down here, we'll see in a sec. So what do we do? Well, we can light this thing here. Fire's going to go in there, and it will open this gate. Well, it'll open the door right here. There's still a gate you got to get through. So what do we do with that? Take that same statue, drop it on this button, which of course is weight things, just like many other video games, and cross the bridge, go in the door that you just opened. All right, time to get at everyone's favorite part, the com uh, the combat. Combat's awesome. It's just like God of War, which is great you know it's violent it's visceral it's like it's intense you're wolverine you got big ass claws use them murder this fool look at that ah! anyways there's light attack heavy attack jumping and attacking grappling um, all these combos you want to learn because you want to use the same moves all the time take advantage of wolverine um, we got fury attacks that's a fury attack let's get into those right now all right so fury attacks you press right trigger you bring up this menu you press y you'll do that drill attack right there bring up the menu again and you hit X you'll do this and you can continually tap X and you'll get you know a lot more to last a lot longer it's leveled up so it lasts a long time right there um, the other one if you hold right trigger and hit B you basically go into berserker mode which is awesome where you're way faster way stronger you just dismember guys way easier and you just murder with the uh, fury mode your claws glow red which is a cool effect too I think it looks awesome and the last one is you hold right trigger you hit A, it's very similar to the X one, and you can continually tap it to last longer. Again, it's leveled up, so it's lasting a long time, but at the very beginning, it's not going to last that long. Alright, now for killing fools. You kill people with the environment is a cool thing. We're going to look at some of those right now. I just threw that guy into the uh, forklift there, and this guy got impaled on the chimney. I just killed him there. You saw, saw that. There's lots of environmental kills, like this guy right here. I'm throwing him into some electricity. You just use the stuff around you. You pick up this guy and impale him on the stick there. It's pretty awesome this guy right into this water this was in the weapon x lab kinda looks like that but be careful because the environment can hurt you too you'll end up stuck like this but you're wolverine it's all good you'll get off of it alright but you're wolverine you got claws you don't need the environment to murder people now we're gonna look at some of the finishing moves which are freaking awesome so uh, here's the first one we just take this guy they gotta come quick so look out BAM what else we got this guy's just he's asking for it ugh I'm rip him in half just there's so many awesome kills Stab this guy in the stomach, toss him aside. Blood on the screen. Oh, it's so good. Anyways, just super violent. All the finishing moves. This guy's head just pops when you slam him to the ground there. This guy doesn't even need a head. I'm just going to rip it off there. <laughs> this is pretty cool. Right in his head. Then his claw gets stuck. Stomps him in the head to get his claw out. I love that. Look at it. He whips his claws out in the air. As he falls, psh, into her head. The finishing moves are just so good in this game. And they just f make you feel like Wolverine. Look at this. I don't need claws, I'm gonna beat you down with your own arm. Who do you think you are, Bionic Commando? Eat it! Punk? Oh, this guy's, this one's cool. Look, pulls the pin on the guy's grenade, toss him aside, let the explosion kill him into a bunch of pieces. 
Let's check, just rip her in half. F it. Who gives a F? Even the robots are fun to kill. They don't got blood, but they got a lot of oil that splats out everywhere. Look at this. I'm not gonna use my claws. I'm gonna use your own weapon against you. I'm gonna pale you right there. What are you gonna do? Some of them you have to fight. Like, this chick's resisting. So you're gonna have to whip out your claws. Once you get her right in the head, whip out your other claws and just cut off her head. Oh, pretty awesome. So, I don't know. The finishers, A plus in my book. Love them. Alright, now we're going to look at one of the gameplay mechanics that I love. They just added this, like, pretty much best move in the game. This lunge attack. Like, you want to feel like an animal, like, Wolverine Berserker out? It just lunges at people. Like, he doesn't use guns. He's just going to jump on you and just kill you. Ah! It's so good. Like, just when they come at you, you can jump from guy to guy to guy to guy. Just murdering. Just, it's vicious. And they incorporated the gameplay, which is awesome. Like, you have to cross this gap, you gotta lunge at this guy. So they incorporated the platforming, and it's really cool, and I like that mechanic about it. So lunge attack, A plus in my book. Again, awesome. Alright, let's look at some RPG elements in this game. I think it's handled really well. It doesn't, like, overtake it to where you're in menus the whole time, but it adds to the character, and it's fun to, like, kind of tweak them the way you want. In the character screen, you got skills, mutagens, reflexes, and fight moves. So if you look at the fight moves, it's basically. There's no really RPG stuff here. It's just to look at all the moves you have in the game, all the combos there's an unlock, all the all the special moves basically. So you can just learn them all, get all the button combos down. Now, if you go to the skills menu, when you level up, you get these points to spend. Like this one right here, it says upgrade cost is 12. I only have four. You upgrade certain aspects of your character. Claws will do more damage. Health will give you more health. Rage will give you more rage. And you upgrade all the fury attacks separately. All right. Now the reflexes are kind of weird. Um, when you fight a certain guy, like the machete guy or the machine gun guy, you build up reflexes to where you level up, and when you get to the next step in the reflex, you just do more damage to him. It, it does it by itself. You don't have to do any management or anything for this. The mutant engines are very cool. You find them throughout the game, and they're basically like perks. Uh, if you get vitality, you get more life. You can equip three at a time. Like healing factor will make your healing factor come back faster. Like here's the ones I have equipped. Like I have experience, so I get more experience from each kill. And they're all just little perks like that. It's pretty awesome. And there are a lot of other characters in the game and bosses and stuff. Like, here's the blob boss fight. It's pretty awesome because it takes place in this grocery store and there's just, like, debris flying everywhere. It's it's freaking nuts. Then, of course, you have Gambit, who's in the movie, too. His fight's pretty cool. It's like a whole level. You're kind of stalking him through a level, through a casino, and eventually up to the roof. And you fight on these signs here at the end. And it's a pretty cool fight. Um, it's awesome to see Gambit in the game, too. He looks pretty awesome. There's other boss fights too. You fight Sabretooth a couple times, and of course the big old Sentinel fight, which is pretty cool also. But the one I want to talk about is the one with Deadpool at the end. Now, I didn't like Deadpool in the movie. I hated how they did it, but I gotta say, like the fight was fun. He's got all these powers in this, which doesn't happen in the comic, but because he has it, it just makes the fight like, like desperate. Like it's a long fight, and it's not a bad thing that it's long. Like it was really fun. It was just like exhausting because Deadpool heals up all the time and Wolverine heals up all the time. So it's just like, when is this gonna end? You're just like exhausted, tired, fighting this guy in a good way. Like, it just feels desperate and feels awesome, and you're just going at it forever. You're like, when is he going to die? But I just loved it, because he pull away from you, and he's got all these, he teleport away from you all the time. It's just like, you're like, what do I do to stop this guy? All right, let's look at some extra stuff. Like, there's some costumes you can unlock, which is pretty cool. Um, the first one is the X-Force costume. This is what Wolverine currently wears when he's uh, fighting in X-Force. This is for you, LOD100. I did unlock it. There you go. It looks awesome. The classic Wolverine costume, everyone knows it. First appeared in Incredible Hulk, uh, number 180 or whatever was his first appearance. And this is my favorite. They call it the legendary costume in the game. It's the orange and brown costume. All right, and it's kind of cool the way you unlock the costume. In the game, hidden is a bunch of action figures, each with the different costumes on them. If you find two action figures of one particular costume, you unlock this challenge to uh, fight Wolverine wearing that costume, like I'm doing now. And once you defeat that Wolverine in that costume, you can unlock that costume, and then you play as it. And whatever time you want, you can play using that costume. So anyways, that's the awesome game there. Uh, we're going to have a little conclusion coming up, and yep. Ah, listen to Weapon XSJ, because he's the best at what he does, and what he does best is make video game-related movies for the internet. Ha! Just kidding. Anyways, in conclusion, this game is awesome. You know, Wolverine, for real, he's come a long way since the Nintendo Entertainment System... And then the shitty ass game on the Sega Genesis, Adamantium Rage, also on SNES. But I really recommend this game. It's really good. It makes you feel like Wolverine. If you want to feel like Wolverine, you're going to have to get this game. You know, just like Spider-Man 2 and Spider-Man Web of Shadows made you feel like Spider-Man, this is the game for Wolverine, and I'm so excited. It makes you feel like Wolverine. Some people might say it's repetitive. I disagree. 
So check this game out if you want. Don't check out the movie. It sucked. Check out my movie review on my channel. The game is good, even though it's got to follow the movie storyline a little bit. Anyways, as always, Wolverine rocks. The game is good. Check it out. I'm do Wolverine poses now. Please comment, rate, subscribe. I appreciate you watching my videos. Thank you to all the subscribers. Have a good day.